Raytana Station once again. This is the third dream in my dream journal. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was written on. Is that an eight? Okay, yeah. February 8th, 2008. Okay. <laughs> it's written in green metallic pen. I couldn't find my black, so I'm using this green. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I was still going out with Matt at the time. Okay, lately I've been having many romantic dreams about me and Matt. It's strange because I've never dreamt like this about any other boyfriend, especially not Tyler. I only had two dreams about Tyler when I was with him, and one after the first... Oh. Wait. I only had two dreams about Tyler when I was with him, and one after. Okay, that didn't really make any sense. Oh, when I was a teenager. Okay. The first one, he broke up with me. The second one was just there walking around. That was the dream where I brought Speedy back to life. Speedy was my first hamster. Um, and the final dream was that which I based a comic book after. Wait. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> But with Matt, I've had tons of dreams about him, even before we were dating. All these dreams have all been lovely and made me all fuzzy inside. Why is it only him that I have these dreams about? Could it be he's actually the one? <laughs> In red, I wrote next to it, no, because that was after we broke up. Okay. Aside from that dream, I also had a dream that Bandit came back to life. I always have dreams of either Speedy or Bandit alive. I think I miss them. So, I don't know what it is about Speedy and Bandit. Bandit was uh, my guinea pig. I think I felt a specific attraction to those two animals. I think I connected with them the most. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I guess, I guess having romantic dreams about your boyfriend means that they're your soulmates or something. I don't know, I've had a lot of romantic dreams about people that I've been with or, you know, people I want to be with and such, and, you know, dreams are dreams. They could mean something, they could mean not something, they could just explain urges that you have. Obviously, Matt and I were not made for each other because he was a bastard, but that's okay, because I got a video iPod and the special edition of Devil May Cry 3 out of him, sucka! Can you dig it? Okay. <laughs> okay, um, so that concludes this dream journal. Then we'll see you in the next one. Raytana Station here with yet another dream journal dream entry dream 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 dream. Okay. All right, um, oh, I remember this one. This one was cool. All right, so this was done, um, <laughs> February 12th, 2008. Um, last night was a very nice dream. I had three hamsters, two guinea pigs, two rabbits, and an aquarium with two huge octopi and a beautiful moon jellyfish. I also had a really cool drink. It was pure black, but had pretty ribbons of fluorescent colors floating inside. It was tangy and electrifying, kind of like an energy drink. It was awesome. <laughs> I wish my life was like my happy dreams, but it's not. It's a living nightmare. Oh, what an emo way to end that entry. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a really short one, but that was a really... I mean, I couldn't describe how mystifying this dream was. I, I remember it clearly, though, and that's funny because I can't trust my memory as far as I can throw it, and as far as I know, you can't throw your memory. <laughs> so, um, it was awesome. <laughs> anyway, oh, dangly parts. All right, so that concludes this dream and I malala. Tana Station here with another dream entry from the Dream Journal. Okay, apparently this one was written on Valentine's Day. Valentino. You know, I actually knew somebody who consistently pronounced Valentine's Day 
with an M at the end, you know how like children do, Valentine's Day, and we'd correct her, and she wouldn't care, and she was dumb. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so, okay, February 14th, 2008. Okay, speaking of nightmares, I had my first one since the Suicide Club one. This one was a bit scarier though, and it too woke me up. I was watching TV and I had fallen asleep. For some reason, I was living with Mom. The TV was on after my bedtime, but I was sleeping. Mom came in and woke me up, asking why I was watching TV after bedtime. Um, I told her I wasn't. I was sleeping and accidentally left it on. She pulled me out of bed and into the kitchen. She asked once more why I had the TV on. I told her again what I had said before, and she said, If you won't tell the truth, I'll beat it out of you. Instead of using a wooden spoon, she used an egg beater and kept hitting me in the head. I told her she was drunk and ran to my room, planning on grabbing my cell phone. She stopped me, and then I woke up. I was so tired it took a while to realize I was awake. Um, well, obviously, every time I dream about mom, it's usually the same like like that <laughs> it's usually very disturbing um ends up making me feel very bad inside um you know, I don't remember that dream as clearly I remember the TV I do remember the TV it was really odd oh <gasps> oh was a yawn <laughs> all right so that concludes that dream. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.